What is going on, everybody? Tamagotchi here. Welcome to another video. We're going to be hopping into the Great League with a team I stole from fellow content creator Killus FM. So I'll link his uh, YouTube channel in the pinned comments down below and in the description. So make sure to go check him out. He just hit legend with this team. And I was like, wow, go back. Who's hit legend with Golbat? None other than the great battler himself, Chillis FM, amazing content creator himself. So go give him a subscribe and follow and check out his channel. But hopping into these battles here, I had a lot of fun with this team. I don't have the shadow um, Golbat and I don't have Power Whip. So if you have a Goudreau Power Whip and a Shadow Golbat, by all means run them. But uh, this team actually kind of worked fine without it. I do think Power Whip might be a little bit better for this team specifically but uh because i didn't use thunder punch at all whatsoever so pretty decent lead here magnezone into the dragon air i ended up baiting with a mirror shot trying to get the first shield of the game but they uh they didn't they didn't shield they didn't shield and then they go for the aqua tail i do get the shield here with my uh, second mirror shot and i'm gonna come in with gudra gudra's gonna be able to take whatever they throw body slam gonna put us deep into the yellow but we're, we're gonna be able to get dragon breath down and there it is the bass seed on that the Golbat doesn't want to see my game lagging out like crazy um so unfortunately they sneak a full smackdown through which is a three turn smackdown so much energy that they gain there which is quite unfortunate but uh, Aqua Tail number two gonna be coming in. That doesn't get shielded quite fine by me. And from here, these Smackdowns are gonna be resisted. So I'm hoping I can shield this and get to a Mirror Shot and a Wild Charge. So I throw two um, Volt Switches and then the Mirror Shot. I'm hoping this grabs a shield. If it doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. It does grab the shield and I'm really hoping that this Wild Charge is enough to knock out the bulky Bastidon. Bastidon, left, right, good night. And there's a victory bell back there. Toxic team, get out of here. Golbat's gonna take this game with the Shadow Ball. A lot of frame drops as you see. This game is in a very bad state and if you haven't seen it's, it's Axon's video about uh, the game that needs fixing and I'm calling out to Niantic, go on, go give it a watch go give it a uh, subscribe to him number one in the world obviously you should be watching his channel but on to these battles here <coughs> beautiful lead here um azumarill into magnezone they're gonna hop into a uh, glagar i don't have a terrific response to this uh glagar so i'm gonna stay in here with the gudra try to throw in between the wing attacks here to get this aqua tail off i will shield up the next move as i did call the first uh bait there just an aerial ace you can survive one not gonna be able to survive two but if my opponent wants to take switch advantage they're gonna have to go all shields down which i'm completely fine with because then magnezone can kind of just sweep whatever's in the back but uh, they said let that go glagar goes down to the aerial ace and can i make a thunder punch before they make a move no i decided to hard pivot into my uh magnezone because i know i have two answers to the azumarill so magnezone gonna be coming in greeted by the trevenant we do get the attack fall mirror shot coming in clutch second mirror shot gonna be coming in this is not gonna be enough to ko but it's gonna put him very deep where uh i do think golbat is gonna be able to farm down and come out with loaded energy against that azumarill so <laughs> shadow ball left right good night to the magnezone we're gonna come here with the gold bat uh i think i was counting in the game not really too sure if i was or not but i'm uh, gonna let this go i think it's just a c-bomb and that's gonna be double resisted due to our poison flying typing we'll shield up this move i really don't want to get hit by an ice beam so i'm gonna count four one or one because i want to get the z-bomb off right away and then i'm gonna throw four so they're at two bubbles right now three four five so they should be at the ice beam right now but i don't think they're gonna throw it right away so i'm gonna just go off a gut instinct and swap <laughs> we catch the ice beam absolutely ridiculous they get a, a nice undercharge there but that's not gonna help them we're one wing attack away from this poison fang they are double debuffed this poison fang is gonna eat this azumarill alive brain drops happening i couldn't even get the last bubble it didn't really matter anyways we're gonna be able to take that game good game well played to my opponent there so the good thing about this whole frame drop stuff, other than you losing battles to it, um, this is a terrible lead, and then it's a terrible swap. So this team I just get absolutely murked by, but uh, we'll, we'll comment down below about this, because, my gosh, um, Whiskash, and then uh, Pharaoh Thorn. I don't really have anything to hit Pharaoh Thorn with, even with Power Whip. I'm not particularly sure that uh, Guja is going to be taking this game. But anyways, so going back, you can actually go to the help in the settings and then uh if you're recording your game or you can take screen screenshots you can set it into niantic that your game is frame dropping lagging da, 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 and they will give you a free uh premium battle pass so i'm gonna end up taking um i think i just 
lose switch advantage here i'm gonna come in with golbat i'm gonna get a go for a very nasty farm down because i think energy on golbat is where i'm gonna need to win this game so we'll go for a very nasty farm down we almost are at oh we have a shadow ball and a wing attack so i'm gonna throw the shadow ball right away against the gligar and my magnet zone has nowhere to run so i know this is gonna be just an aerial ace because they only threw five wing attacks probably should have caught that on the magnet zone unfortunately i didn't so then i'm gonna throw five more here and then catch the next aerial ace on my magnet zone here it's gonna be resisted and i'm hoping now i can get to a um, a wall charge <laughs> before they throw a move which i think they're probably just gonna farm all the way down so what i should have done I should have thrown the mirror shot here grab the shield and then throw in two more uh volt switches that way we had a wild charge or force them to throw energy without them farming all the way down and we don't even get the debuff there which is unfortunate i'm gonna go for a bait here hoping that they shield it i can throw my shield up after this move and throw the shadow ball to ko and hopefully it'll pace to the next move but uh no they know shield the, they know they can survive a shadow ball i don't think a shadow ball would have knocked out a normal whiskash anyways so ggs very well played by my opponent very hard game to overcome but we tried our best so hopping into the next matchup here spark lantern this is a great lead for magnezone um i didn't want to shield the surf unfortunately i think i misclicked and we ended up shielding anyways uh not a huge issue but i'm gonna throw two more bolt switches and then go for the wild charge we're at 100 energy here so wild charge gonna be coming in does massive damage on top of catching the surf on the gudra that is huge for us here surf gonna be resisted you'll love to see it but what's not resisted is this charm alola nine tails my gosh is this gonna be lantern double charm we'll have to see so i did leave with a lot of energy which is kind of what you want to do with magnezone that or throw all of its energy and let it KO and get shield. So we left with energy with Magazone. Uh, mirror shot, gonna get the full KO left, right, good night. They come back in with a lantern there. We get the full Volt Switch down, and my opponent is going to just top left. Must be double charm, which honestly, Golbat would have had a field day with in the back, and Magnezone just has a field day with it anyway. So hopping into the next matchup here. Very terrible lead, gonna hop into the Gudra right away. And in comes the Bassidon. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, maybe you should have safe swapped the Golbat. Nah. This is why you don't swap your hard counter into a hard counter lead because uh, Bastion is going to be lurking back there and it's going to eat you alive if you swap into the gold bat and you, we get bow shields with the aqua tail. So my opponent really playing hard for switch, but uh, they did not need to shield both those aqua tails. I, I don't think they would have won switch. They would have won switch regardless if they just threw up one shield because even if I double shield or they just smack all the way down before i get to more charge moves i think that probably would have been better for my opponent so we're gonna shield up the flamethrower i'm gonna farm up to 100 energy here then throw my wild charge unfortunately i wanted to throw there we're in the middle of our volt switch since uh smackdown volt switch three versus four turn um they're gonna be able to get to move up before we get ours so uh, that's okay i just farm up to 100 100 energy throw the wild charge throw my second wild charge here at the annihilate and then i'm gonna hard pivot into my uh gold bat that does massive damage oh my gosh that does so much damage and in the back is for alligator um there's no way they outpace us since it's seven wing attacks and uh they swapped into it so it's just a hydro cannon we're gonna be able to survive that and this uh shadow ball is gonna be enough to knock out here one two three four they had enough for the hydro cannon but uh from here we just do one wing attack poison fang down the annihilate but we're gonna be able to take that game gg's well played to my opponent and that would have been tight there but we ended up pulling that one so thank you chillis fm for this team it was an absolute blast to run went 4-1 with it i feel like i could have went maybe 5-0 I could, if I played that game just a little bit different but unfortunately I did it and we ended up losing that one but anyways thank you also very much for watching if you are liking the content please hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because it really helps out the channel and is really appreciated and we will see everybody in the next video bye bye